What's up guys and welcome to Nano Assault Neo X. This is a game by Shinnan coming out on the PlayStation 4 today, November 11th, 2014. If you have ever played Super Stardust HD or Super Stardust in general for the PlayStation 3, you would know it really what this game is like. It is a top-down twin-stick shooter that's actually pretty good. So why don't we head in and I'll talk a little more about it. Okay, so you'll hear me comparing it to Super Stardust quite often because the comparisons are quite accurate. Top-down, 3D sort of based, you know, twin-stick shooter where you fight waves of enemies until you move on to new levels, eventually fighting a boss. And this one is now for the PS4. This was previously out on the Wii U and 3DS, but now is now reduxed for the PlayStation 4. And I have to say, this game is actually pretty good. It gameplay is really fun and addicting. The Graphics are really great, the music is popping, it's everything about this game really does kick off the top-down, twin-stick shooter kind of style really, really well. Now, some things that are different from Super Stardust is that this isn't actually on a planet, this is on a cell, you know, by the Nano Assault. You know, it's sort of this, like, your very small cellular stuff. And because of that, you aren't on a round, spherical planet, you're actually on a cell, and sometimes these aren't circles, they're, they're these weird, odd, oval shapes, or, you know, just a whole bunch of different shapes, and that actually makes it a little more varying when it comes to the level design. And of course, there's new enemies and new types of enemies, like all that kind of cool stuff. You do also get upgrades, as you can see, I've been getting more and more blasters. And our goal is to kill a certain amount of enemies before the exit opens, and then we can skedaddle on out of here to the next level. Our goal is to f beat three levels in concession and then a boss before we run out of lives and get game over. If we do, we have to start from the beginning of those four levels, but it's just all about that and surviving and very simple. It's really easy to pick up. The only downside I've really found with this game is that it's relatively short. Beating all the levels probably takes about two hours at the maximum, and that depends on how good you are at the game. I'm not go I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I'm not really that great at the game. I struggled to get very far in Super Stardust. A few levels in, I really just couldn't find myself able to complete them. Here, I was able to do everything within two, two hours, I'd say. After that, you do unlock a survivor mode, which does really extend the replayability quite a lot. But at the most, I'd say you're probably gonna get five hours in this game, unless you're a really die-hard shooter fan. With that being said, for $10, it's in the middle. You should be able to decide if that's worth the price of admission. You know, um, it, de it depends on you personally. Five hours worth of content is like worth $10 for you. Here we go, this is Epsilon 2. And basically you have to play through the four Epsilon levels without getting or losing our lives, which you can see on the top left. You can see that we have two lives and two hit points remaining. If we get hit three times, we lose our life. So it's not like one hit and we're dead. And that's pretty nice. Now you can see that the uh, environment has changed quite a bit. And one thing is the notable, really, really nice looking game. It is a 60 FPS game that runs super smooth and everything graphically looks fantastic. There's some minor texturing issues that I personally see, but maybe that's just me. Besides that, everything is really cool. You can also get a little bonus level if you pick up B-O-N-U-S, you know, spelling out bonus. If you pick all of those up, you can get a bonus level that's actually pretty interesting and pretty fun. All right, let's take out these guys, come on. There we go. And now, the besides, like I said, the shortness of the game, the only thing I could really gripe with is that there is literally no options menu in the game. So if I press pause here, you can see it's continue or quit. And it's very similar in the main menu system. So it's like a little annoying on that front if you wanna change the audio, if you wanna change video settings, or if you even wanna change some minor controls that would easier, easily be reconfigurable, you can't do that in this game. So if you don't like the controls, then too bad, you know? <laughs> and then that's really annoying in my opinion. I feel like in this day and age, we definitely shouldn't have any of that. Besides that, let's um, approach more of the HUD here. On the top left, you'll see 69%. That is my percentage of the level complete. As you can see, the more enemies I kill, the more that percentage raises. Wow, I'm dying a lot here. I'm really not doing that well. But, um, so my goal, of course, is to get that to 100, or actually, I think it's 90%, and then the exit will open. You can continue to kill enemies and try to get it to 100%, but of course, you'll have to do it against the clock with 30 seconds remaining, unless you die like I do and get a game over. 
But that's basically what single player is. You'll play four levels in a boss, or three levels in a boss, and do the same thing for four different areas. So in a total, 16 different levels. Like I said, it could be a little more in-depth for 10 bucks, but at the same time, I feel like it's overall pretty fair. Then survivor mode, which is basically playing and playing level after level until you eventually die. And then you have arcade mode, which this is actually the same thing as single player, but you get to choose your level. So if I want to go straight to the boss here, I can do that. Also, this is the nano shop. You earn nano points during the levels, and you can spend them on either different upgrades, extra lives, things like that to help you along in the levels. They can be pretty helpful. So let's um, buy a few and then exit the shop. And we'll go on and take this boss. I wanted to show off the first boss to show that they're actually pretty cool. I will admit that the bosses are overall really easy. I really didn't have any issue with a single boss. Maybe the third one was a little challenging, but that's about it. On the bottom right, you can see I have a bit of a power-up. You unlock those in the levels, and I can just press R1 to use it, come here, and to completely destroy his legs. It's actually pretty nice. And I usually just save these for the boss, and there you go, so he's done. <laughs> Now there is a good variety of achievements in this game, but since the game is relatively short, there isn't a ton of them. And of course, and unfortunately, not of course, no platinum. But there we go, besides that, you can get competitive with friends by doing these scoreboards and trying to get on the top of them. But of course, that's not really my thing, so I haven't been focusing on it too much, but as you can see here, you can do that. Besides that, you do also have a two-player mode, which I have yet to try, but if you have a friend, feel free to couch co-op with him, or you share play if you both have PS Plus, and that's actually a really cool feature, you know, if you want somebody to play with. This is, you know, a good twin-stick shooter to play with a friend, then. But besides that, that is very simple, Nano Assault Neo X. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below, what do you think about Nano Assault Neo X, and do you think you're going to be getting it? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.